This is Mario Central here with you today after a two-week hiatus. My goodness, it's been a while, and I think I've, I've lost my senses. I'm doing my first LP again. See, look, 120 stars. What am I doing? I don't know. Let's click in, because I clearly have no idea what I'm doing. Do I ever know what I'm doing? No. But there's Yoshi. What is he doing here? Yoshi? What's up? Hi, Mario. It's great to see you again, but I have some bad news. <gasps> he learned the secret to reaching the star world. Uh-oh. And now he's gotten a whole heap of Star World portals that he's using to transport his troops. Oh, oh, that's not good. Yoshi, you gotta stay on the good side of things. I don't like hearing depressing stories. No. Okay, well, sh long story short, Bowser's taken over this castle. He's transported his troops. And now he's wreaking havoc once again, and we gotta collect some power stars. Sound familiar? Well, it should, because it's made by Skalux. And it is Mario Star Road for the emulator. <laughs> it's not for N64. Well, te technically I'd like to consider it because it is a great homage to Mario 64. This game is brilliant. I like it a lot. I mean, I, I can't say enough. Let's talk to this Toad. Toad. Oh, the horror. On my way home from the shops yesterday, I was ambushed by a group of Koopas. Stole all my canned spaghetti. I tried again today, but the Koopas stole, stole it again. Stop Bowser Mori. You're a pasta lover. You know how I feel. Um, just because I'm Italian, I have a mustache, you, you think I like pasta? Well, you're pretty darn right. <laughs> because I do like pasta, even though I'm not Italian. But still, I still like pasta. Shut up. <laughs> Alright, but what we're going to do, if you go all the way to the top here, you can actually get a first star right off the bat. I mean, seriously, you, it's right here. Cannon, and then you shoot up. It, I, I don't know how I didn't see this uh, the first time I played this game. But I hadn't found out this secret in a long time because I didn't figure, well, you can just wall jump up there. Because, I'll be honest, in the original, you didn't wall jump that much. And it's not something that I really knew. What are you staring at? I'm not stuck. I'm just admiring the view. Anyway, I found the star up here for you. I felt like I should do something in return for all the help you've given us, Mario. Oh, I thank you, Toad. How very nice. And that's our first star within a couple minutes of the video. Not too shabby at all. Woo! Wow, the pose, I'm loving this already. You've recovered one of the power stars. Keep searching, you need seven more before you can open any sealed doors. I shall do so, sir, don't worry. Oh, jeez. And Mario 64 returns once more. I, this was a last minute decision. I wasn't supposed to do this game. I was actually supposed to do another one, but as I had said previously, uh, a lot of my pre-recorded videos for the LP got deleted accidentally and I didn't have the heart to do it again so I decided to go with this game and also Mario Kart Super Circuit so I threw in a little Mario Bonanza just cuz this is what I do best <laughs> this is why I named my channel this way because I love Mario and he's always been around and I felt I had to do this game because I didn't say this before but I was not too pleased with how Mario 64 my first LP turned out I figured I probably shouldn't done had done that LP first but, I'm doing this now in, f in favor of that, of just doing Mario 64 again, just to really show you how much I like Mario 64, and really talk about some things, because Mario 64 was truly revolutionary, and this game is quite difficult, and I already missed the first difficult jump. Good job! If you couldn't recognize this music, then you haven't played Zelda. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> because this theme in general, the Wind Waker, from Outset Island is kind of a mix of Kokiri Forest as well! Into the water we go. Darn, this is not gonna bode well for me if I'm struggling already. Because this game is a little bit difficult, definitely much more harder than the original, my goodness. Okay, let's try again. One, two, three! And they made it! No, I didn't. Darn it. And Outside Island is kind of mix, a mix of Kokiri Forest at the same time, so you should know this. As soon as, you, as, soon as I heard this, I'm like, <gasps> It's Zelda, I just don't know where. <laughs> now what I really like is that the music is just done in this N64 type of style. You know, like, all their consoles have their own style of music, in my opinion. They, they always had, because, I mean, you had uh, limitations, right? You didn't always, you couldn't uh, do a full orchestra or anything like that, because, I mean, these consoles had limitations, and they always had their own feel to it, and that's what I felt like Skullux did a good job of. He captured his own feel. He transformed some new songs into an N64 field and added his own 
type of style to it, and I kind of like it. He took mainly the original theme and added his own style, which is pretty cool. Now this world, pretty simple. This is actually not the first world. <laughs> you would think it is, but no, it's actually a secret world. This is the first one in this game, so let's get this. Oh god, Goomba, don't hit me. The funny thing is, is all the enemies in this game are a lot more threatening than they appear. Trust me. Okay, fly guy, come here. No, I missed. That's okay. Oh man, I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this this game. It just, I never thought I would because I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big guy on doing hacked games. I'm not a big fan. Like, uh, I like this game. I think this is the only exception because I, you know, all those Kaizo Mario's from the Mario Worlds and all those other ones. Those aren't. I mean, I can I can see where people would like them because they're difficult, but it really I don't care for them that much. They're really not that great, and that was a mistake, my fault. They're really not that fun, you know. Like, yeah, it's difficult, but geez, where's the fun, right? It's just like, oh, I'll just put invisible blocks everywhere, and then he can run into it and die. Oh, that's fun, you know. I, I don't really care for that, but this was really I mean, seriously, these areas were designed so well, and I just wow, I mean. Think about it, Skelex is not even a game designer, you know, he he's a normal guy that's just like, you know what, I want to capture back the Mario 64 free roaming nature. And he didn't have much, I mean, he's not a game designer, right? So he's not going to have money, and it's funny because, you know, you see a lot of games these days, right, that are so bad, and they have all the money in the world, like <coughs> Sonic 06, but... You know, and, and they turn out so bad, but this guy doesn't have much, you know, and he creates this fantastic game with very little, and it's just like, how how can game designers fail so badly? Sometimes less is more, you know, like, it's just like, he created all this with so little, it's, it's quite amazing, actually, what he was able to accomplish with this. He created his own areas, he created his own setting, obviously, you know, he used a lot of the... He mainly, it, this was game was a nice throwback to Mario 64, but it was just, wow, I can't wait for, he's actually going to make a Star Road 2, which I cannot wait for, that, that would be, I, I really am excited for that, and it's funny because Mario 64 was supposed to receive a sequel anyways, and that got cancelled, and this, in my opinion, does fill that void that was missed, I mean, this is, this is the sequel that I always imagined. It was it was pretty it's pretty damn awesome how he created this. It really is and I, I'm glad I'm getting the chance to show this off because I feel that guy needs a little bit more I I I mean he has 200,000 subscribers, but I feel this guy needs probably like oh, where is that red coin? I actually have no idea where that last one is. I feel like he needs more subscribers. He should probably get like a million. I'm not even joking. That was a complete fluke because I did not even know that was there. Perfecto mundo. Yay! Wow. Okay, I completely forgot about that red coin, so thank goodness I actually fell. Oh, wow, that was funny. Okay, but that's our first star in the secret world. Not technically our first official star, but it is a secret star, nonetheless. But as you can see, we're not done with that place yet. There was actually a Koopa there, so we gotta race him, obviously. Let's go! Do, do, do. I can't get enough of this music, it's so good! Oh, man. And it just, I, I can't heep enough praise on this man, he, he's just, uh, he's amazing. And I, I, I hope that you guys like this game, and if you have some sort of disbelief or, oh god, moral objection to using emulators, just toss that aside and play this game, and you probably won't feel the same ever again. And this is not good, I probably should not have ground pounded off this off the start. I wasn't doing that because I was cocky, I was trying to long jump. Now hold on a second, I was trying to long jump and that failed, so <laughs> this is not good, because this race isn't easy actually. Oh my goodness, I'm not very, oh god, look at that lead. Okay, let's long jump across here, get a bit of distance. And where is Cooper right now? Oh, jeez, he's already up there. Okay, Mario, run as fast as you can. You can do this, you're better than him. Remember when he had those cheap shoes? We still beat him, so you can do this. I don't know if I'm gonna come back, I honestly don't. Oh, wait, wait, okay, I can just cut across right here, beautiful. All right, I think I have a chance. If I'm able to pull, oh my god, he slowed down. Wait, wait, flip, jump, and I did it. Yeah, what a comeback. That, that, that needs a Rocky theme right there. 
Whoa, you completely stomped my record. I promise I'll train extra hard for our next race. Until next time, here is your prize. Congrats, Mario. Thank you very much, Koopa. Yes, that was well deserved. <laughs> I did not think I was gonna get that. Wow, but before, you know, I you know how I always hated this guy. If you haven't watched my first LPF Mario 64, you can see how much times that man messed me up. So before I even get the star, I might as well destroy him. And now I'm free to get the third star of the game. Woo! <clears throat> Alright, another one of the secret stars. We've already gotten three of the 15 secret stars. You should take a break occasionally, otherwise the game will be over before you know it. He's right. <laughs> he is totally right. I remember when I first played that ga this game, I went nuts with this. I, I instantly got addicted because it just... Wow. <laughs> I mean, I already told you how much I like Mario 64 because it, it was really revolutionary for its time. I mean, think about what it did. It, it really standardized the 3D gaming and it just... Wow, I, I honestly... It's not my favorite game, but I think it's my... It's the most revolutionary game of all time. Now, Toad, 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 that I want to talk to you. Hi, Mario. How is my painting? Careful not to scratch it. Oh, I won't scratch it. Don't worry. I'm gonna jump into it. Oh, that's much worse. But apparently, jumping into paintings leads to worlds, which is our first one in Bomb Bomb Islands. And by the way, if you don't recognize this music, neither did I. And in fact, you probably should, because this is an awesome game. Hey you, you better be careful unless you want to be blasted for a uh, water bomb on from an enemy. We are peaceful bomb who love the ocean and sky, but these other guys are completely war hungry. The leader is Big bomb -Om. He stole a star from us and is using it to win this battle. Say, you look pretty tough. Do you think you could do us a favor and get our star back? Good luck. Well, I no problem, Blue bomb -Om, but honestly, when I first played this, I was like, what the heck is this? This is so amazing. This song and... You know where it comes from? It's actually from Bomberman 64. It's the Green Garden. And this song... Wow, what can I say? Beautiful. <laughs> like, honestly, it just, it amazed me how, when I heard this song, I was just like, whoa, how have I never heard this before? Do, 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 do. Oh, man, it was a perfect choice for this place, too, because it just really, really feels like it, too. And I, I like that, I like that Skullux did that because, you know, I like water bombs. No, <laughs> because I do like water bombs apparently and it keeps interrupting my speech. Thank you! But I really like it when game designers match the music to the feel of the stage. It just it works so well and he, he did that really well here. Now let's read the signpost because he also put in a little bit of Mario charm. Does that rock look a little suspicious to you? Well, maybe if you hit it, there's a visible block. And there totally is. So another type of little Mario charm that was added, like the other Mario Invisible Blocks that there were and Mario, all the Mario Bros. series in the Mario world. So I kind of like that. He, What he did really well is he added a lot of Mario charm in this game. It was just good. All the text, the the type of humor, everything. He, he just borrowed elements from every game and I like that. <clears throat> now, I think, yep, there's our first star. We're gonna battle with him again. Let's do it. Mustache on mustache. You again, are you following me or what? Well, you better prepare yourself for a tough battle if you think you're going to take... Go take in my Power Star again. He says he won't go easy on me. Yeah, right, let's see how good you are now. Oh, no, you're still the same. <laughs> He's still just as foolish. And this song actually is from Mario Sunshine, the boss music. So again, borrowing music from like every type of Mario game. I love it. Boom. What else you got? Oh, oh, he's back for more. Okay, simple backflip. Pound three times and he's done. No, he's not. Yeah, I know. That, that kind of surprised me the first time. I was like, whoa, wait. Oh, God. And then he threw me off the castle because I thought he was done. Oh, uh, that was funny. All right, there we go. Four times does it. Ah, defeated again. Next time, it'll be me walking away with your power stars, though. I like how he had to uh, really put emotion into me and your... Oh no, you defeated me again. Next time I'll be taking your power stars though. <laughs> I like that. Mario Charm at its best. Alright, let's go into the second mission. Top of the sunken ship. Now what we gotta do here is actually unlock the cannon. So we gotta find one of those blue bomb bomb guys. And in fact, another guy over here moved. I don't know where he is. Let's talk to this guy again now that I actually helped him. 
Thanks for defeating Big Bomb on Mario. With the strength of this recovered power star, we just might be able to knock out the enemy for good. You mean, you still... You still haven't been able to? What, what was all that hard work I just did? Are you serious? You couldn't knock him out, and I just took out the leader? You guys suck. Like, come on. You gotta be better than that. What, what the hell? Oh, well. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Alright, let's go... Oof. Nearly slipped on those things. Okay, yeah, you're not getting... They're still controlling the water bombs? How? I thought they're... Oh, this guy. Well, you know what? Haha, no more control. All you gotta do is come to one of these castle landmarks. I think it's the other one. Yeah, that's the, that has a red coin. So just keep that in mind if you forget. And come right over here, and you'll see that there's a blue bomb on right here. Oop. Do, 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 do. And let's talk to him. You need to use your cannon? Sure, just wait a moment while I open it up for you. And that's what I liked about this, dude. This is, just wasn't a reskin of a game or just, oh, let's throw in some invisible box blocks. This was an actual unique game, you know? It was its own thing. It created more stages and just, wow, I you can't help but not like this game. Now, right here, we gotta actually shoot to the, to the top of this ship. And I'm not very good at aiming with this thing, so let's try. Let's go right... Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit the mast. So that way I can slide down and then to the star. Right there should be fine. Oh, that's too high. Yes, I made it. Wow. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm actually much more better than I thought. Nice. Right now I'm using, actually, I'm using Project 64 to play this game. A lot of people use that for N64 emulators, so I mean, it's pro pretty much the best one. And I'm also using a Logitech wireless controller. Which is very useful, by the way, if you're a computer gamer. I'm not so much of a, a computer gamer. I don't play with a lot of emula emulators. But, when I do play games like I can't normally get, or they're too expensive to get, like, say, Rayman 2, right? A little bit too expensive for me now at other stores. I just play on the emulator, and it works really well with this controller. Instead of having to use my keyboard pad, which, you remember how much that frustrated me during Mario World. But... The side star is actually right here. A very simple one, actually. And there you go. Number six. Number six! Okay, very good. Wow, six stars already. I mean, wow, that, that was fast. I wonder what the next... I can't remember if the next one is a red red coin or... Is it another one? Let's see. No, oh, yep, yeah, it's the red coin one. So what I'm going to do here is what a lot of people do, actually. I am going to collect the hundred coins and the red coins at the same time, just to make it easier on my part. So that way, I don't have to bore you with doing two things separately, you know what I'm saying? Do 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 The other one is right up here. You got these floating platforms and also this red coin over here. Just be careful not to slip. I think there's also a red coin over here, so let me just go there right now. There's also a circle of coins surrounding the mess, so that's very nice. I find most of the stages are pretty darn easy to get a hundred coins, but some stages you'll find, like, you're gonna have to find every single little coin, and I don't know if that's just me, but just some of the stages, you'll find like, oh my goodness, I have to get this Goomba, and I have to get this one, and... Because most of the stages, in my opinion, you can get easily, like, probably 130 coins, because what he did in this one was make sure that he put a blue star switch a blue star, a blue coin switch at every stage, so that way it makes it a little, e a little easier on your part to get more coins, because in the original it didn't really have that, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I like that that he did that. Do 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 do. Honestly, how could I never know this song? It just as soon as I heard it, I'm like, wow, classic, classic. I di didn't even know what it, what it came from. Now again, keeping in the Mario charm. He actually made this apl applicable again. You ring around the rosy, or around the log, and slip off and fall in the water, you get some rings. No, seriously, it's not slipping off falling into water, I just kind of said that. But, if you ring around the log, you get some five rings, so that's pretty good for you. Already, we have 64 coins, wow. We just need, I think we had, what, four red coins? So that's not too bad. Do do boom. Sixty-nine. Okay, and then there's a couple more by this chomp that nearly went into my face. Jeez. Okay. Good thing is we can't really die here 
unless uh, <laughs> we can't really fall off. So we can only die here if we get hit a lot, which won't happen that often, and we're already close to... Oh wow, <laughs> we already have close to 100, that's fast. Um, I'm using, like, for the Logitech, I think I have... Because it has dual analog sticks, so I'm using one for the camera and one for movement, so... It's pretty, it's pretty easy. I mean, honestly, you've got to play 3D games, like, with the controller, because if you try it with the keypad, which I did, it's a pain. <laughs> Trying to get used to it. It really isn't that easy. So let's go up here. Water bomb. Jeez. Why do you always got to get in my way? Just like the original, huh? You're always just at the right spot. <laughs> Every time. All right, how much? Oh, we have 99. All right, will this contain coins? Yes, it does. That is number 100. And that's pretty high up. Jesus. There we go. And just like before, you've collected 100 coins. Mario gains more power from the stars. Oh, indeed, we want to save. Ha! You thought I would fall for it this time, but I didn't. And I avoided you, because I'm better. Yeah! Remember, I never fall for the same mistake twice. Never! Okay, let's get this red coin right up here, because we got to remember it. There we go. And there's one more actually right over here. As we... Because I kind of ignored it the last time, and that platform's disappearing. Okay, let's... Yahoo! Our way over there. Good job. <laughs> I'm glad he put in all the same jumps as the original, because it just makes this a lot more... better, and he just... he puts in a lot more... You have to use these jumps a lot more in this one, compared to the original. Do-do-do-do-do-do, and our last red coin is right over... here, by the way. Very nice. I think it's actually behind the castle. Let me just get this, just so I can increase my coin total and make it look good. Yep. <laughs> and get our last red coin. Very nice. Um, I actually have no idea where that is. I think... Okay, I think it's by the beginning, where you know where that cannon was? I think it's over there. I'm not actually sure. Now this is wonderful, I can't even tell where I got the star. Okay. Because it, it, it was around the green area, which majority of the stage is, so that's not going to help. Um, it's... I don't think it's here, is it? Oh! Okay, okay. Let's think back to where where I saw that blue star where the red star would appear. Was it here? I don't, I don't think so. No, I wasn't here. This is where the secrets are, which we'll be doing in the next episode. But where is that blue star? No, I thought it was here. Is it more up? Maybe... Maybe it's, uh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe it's, uh, it's, it's up here, where the, uh, where the two castles were. Well, castles. <laughs> Castle statues were. Uh, let's, let's go in and search, because I'm not too sure. I, I really didn't get a good look at where it was, which is my fault, because, as you know, when I talk, I get extremely, extremely confused, and... I never realized what I'm doing. <laughs> so there it is. Okay, good. I found it. I thought I was going to have to cut to when I found it. Gee, and that bomb -on clearly isn't happy that I found it. He was just like, I'm going to explode you. It's going to happen. But that's it for this episode. Join me next time as we take on the rest of course number one, Bomb Bomb Islands. This is Mario Central signing off.